Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and I am joined here with a good friend, Dan Smerald. Hello. Uh, I'm sure you've seen lots of him online and of course he's been here <laughs> previously uh, with your amazing custom Chris. Thank you very much. But we have another gun. You seem to keep buying guns and going for stuff that's a little interesting and I think something that everybody's talking about at the moment, it's the Guncraft 2.2 WMR. Mm. Uh, so you, Dan has come down today to pick up this rifle, it's been sent down here to Bluefield Sports, it's the first time you've shot it and it's been here five minutes and you've already covered it in some really Gucci bits. Why not? Uh, so why don't you go around the rifle and sort of tell the guys what you've done and, and why, uh, and yeah, why you've chosen these bits. I always have the mentality of going for better quality which will last you longer, which will take more abuse, which is just better machine parts. And that's why I really like the Guncraft 22 Magnum. I think it's a beautiful machine part. Everything's been working well so far. It needs bedding in to begin with. Yes, that. so this is probably the first, I think, video that's been put out of these. I know that Neil from Rack and Load had a, um, a trial one, a demo one, but this is probably one of the first production rifles that have gone out there. Mm. Uh, we've also got one down here at Blue Field Sports as well. We've been running both of them, and as Dan said, they do need some running in. They've been running well, but the first sort of 100 to 200 rounds, there are a lot of sort of fails, uh, failure to extract, mm -hmm. and a couple of jams. But it seems the more rounds you put through it, the, the better it's yeah, getting. Yeah, it's just going to work better and better. Same with like new engines, new cars, they're just going to work a little better when you get a first... Absolutely. 100, 2,000 uh, miles in them. And, and you think, we, we probably suspect as well that the, the buffer tube spring probably needs a little bit more tuning, uh, but you're going to wait until you've put a couple of hundred more rounds mm. through it and see how you go. But yeah, go, go through the bits and sort of say what, say what you've got. So I had this razor originally on the Chris, and I really liked it. I used it at two matches at the um, Ely Speed Steel yes, and at there. Froome for the NRA match. Mm -hmm. I really liked it, but... I just knew that this was destined to go on a 22 Magnum because obviously one to six, it's much easier to go further distance because I actually yeah. aim to make this into a mini DMR. As it has a mini rifle, why not a mini DMR? And 22 Magnum is uh, hopefully, touch wood, going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. So going from front um, back to front, I've got a Magpul uh, UBR Gen 2 and this could be working better for the... Um, for the buffer tube, for the buffer inside, because right. it's a longer buffer tube than standard. Mm -hmm. It comes with space on the inside, which you guys fitted for me. If it needs adjusting, you can always put um, little wedges in there to adjust it. That may actually work out yep. in the favor. Going a little forward, I did go for a Geise charging <laughs> handle. I'm addicted to them, I love them, I'll always buy them. Every single AR have, will have them. You just become standardized. Well, when you find something that you like, what, you know, why change? You know? Exactly, exactly. You find something you enjoy, you work, and you know it's going to be great, you're happy. Going a little lower, I've got a ambidextrous um, safety from Seekings Precision. I've gone for the 45 here just because it's nice to have um, um, having that short throw. They're great, you know, reducing it from that 90 degree throw, it speeds it up, it makes it more fluid. You oh, just, absolutely. You're able to just click it off Fake. and straight yeah. onto target. That exactly. makes a huge difference to the rifle. So yeah, I can't fault going for one of those. Going down, I went for a BCM Mod 3. Um, I really like the angle of this grip. It's meaty, it's great in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to make a joke. <laughs> it feels great, it's really comfortable. I really recommend these if you're looking for an aftermarket grip. Um, moving a little forward, I don't have it now, but I will have a Geisley um, two-stage flat trigger. They just can't get away from Geisley, can I, can't, you? I just can't. <laughs> I really can't. If someone imported Geisley rails, I'd scrap as much as I can and then just completely upgrade. Um, I'm having the two-stage version of the single stage I've got in my Chris at the minute. I really like having flat triggers. I think they're just so much nicer to use than some. Yeah, I've got the uh, the CMC flat trigger at the moment. I've wanted the CMC for a very long time. Got one good second hand. And it takes a little bit to get used to a mm. flat trigger. If, you, if you've if you been used to the curves all your life, the flat trigger <laughs> is a little bit different. Uh, and I am finding that it is quicker, but it's just getting familiarized with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a big oh, supporter now of the flat trigger. You can't you can't substitute training, and when you get new equipment, you just got to go out and use it and just learn to adapt to it. Oh, absolutely. I I, I have done something funny. I've gone for an enlarged um, a large trigger guard, but I don't have okay. it here. I haven't put it installed it yet. 
Sure. And the reason I'm doing that is because it may actually become a vermin gun for me. Okay. Because I live in yep. South Wales and there's a lot of farms locally who do need help with, with small games. So if this does get um, out on there, it will make a difference if I'm using gloves. Um, moving forward, I have not done any painting things. I picked it up what, two hours ago. Exactly. <laughs> so it's going to go down to Spartan refinishing. Yes, it is. Chris down there. Um, again, if you saw uh, Dan's Chris, I'll put a link in the description below for it. The the Cerakote job on that gun was incredible. Mm. Um, highly recommend Chris at Spartan refinishing. Again, I'll put a, uh, a link yeah, in the description. I, I can't below. Chris. Uh, and sort of the last upgrade that's actually on the rifle at the moment. Is that that's pretty beasty? Yeah, I, I obviously me too. I know what it is because I've got one again on the Smith and Wesson that I shoot with, and it's a Cobalt Kinetics Edge Muzzle Brake. And for those of you that watched the Utah videos uh, last year while I was out there, uh, I think there's actually one up on Facebook of me shooting a full auto 223. AR-15 with one of these brakes. I think it was me recording you at the time because you kept going back and forth because I was mm, loading mags just, just, just absolutely, <laughs> yeah, just, literally yeah, whatever arrow you got left, enough. just go. Yeah, just, you had like three people loading mags the whole time and you, you just couldn't load them fast <laughs> couldn't enough. Couldn't do it fast uh, enough. But yeah, could, you know, most likely was yourself uh, filming. This thing works in, like amazingly. Mm. Uh, I was shooting this, this full auto 223, one-handed, no issue on, whatsoever, mm. completely flat. Obviously, myself having it on a 2.2, I don't know how well that's going to work. Hey, um, it works. But with the extra power of the WMR, you might get a little bit more compensation. But at the absolute minimum, it looks badass. Oh, it's that incredible. Looks, it looks great. So If I'm ever hungry at the range, I just grate some cheese. And if I make salads, <laughs> I'm more than happy to go. That, yeah, you, you definitely get some big chunks off of that. So the, the last bit that you've got that you haven't actually put on the rifle, yes. so you ha you're having a little bit of difficulty uh, with the nut, uh, but it's a lovely forend there. So it's the, the Geisley MK14. MK4. It's just lovely. I mean, the finish on it. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, Geisley have a name for a reason because they do make absolutely stunning stuff. Did you just blow a kiss at me? I did, yes. Oh. <laughs> Later, Daniel. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, but that is just gonna. Let's have a quick mock up. Mm. That is just gonna look absolutely. Oh, epic. absolutely! It's... And and the thing is, this looks like a great rifle with all the bits already. Mm. And you've only really just got started. Yeah, literally, like, it's got started. We're gonna have to get you back down here when you've um, completed it all. Yeah. But as sort of an out of the box and a five minutes putting all the bits, you've already transformed it. And oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're gonna have lots of fun with it. Oh, absolutely. I think. I'm taking 300 today on rounds, and I've got about 1,500 on, on back order. So uh, that, that should that should be enough. <laughs> it's a good, good weekend. For yeah, it, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I think really that's it. I you know with Dan being here, I just wanted to get the rifle in front of us, sort of show all the Gucci bits that yeah, you've got on one. it. Um, and despite what other people say, this is certainly not crap in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> You've gone high quality once again, <laughs> and yeah, I'm just interested to see what this ends up looking like, and we're, we'll get you back down and, and see when it's finished. I think about two months. I'm not going to date this video, obviously, but there's only a few bits more I want to do. You know, yeah. Cerakote's one thing with Chris, Rail's another thing. Do I want to put thermal on here? You're going to change it around. You can't yeah, exactly. You, you fidget with your guns. You can't. Be, you yeah. got. You love changing them and finding different bits and you know, decorating them and, and mm. fine tuning them to exactly what you want them to be. But there we go guys, uh, an absolutely awesome rifle already. We are gonna be doing a full review of the Guncraft 22 WMR. Uh, we ran out of ammunition, so we've now got a load. We're gonna get out there and that's gonna be coming soon if you're interested in learning a bit more. I've also spoken to Wayne at Northwest Custom Parts as well. He's gonna be sending down his 22 WMR, so we may even be able to do a side by side mm. comparison. But there we go, guys. Look Thank you that. very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for Dan for Thank for you for having down. me. No, you're always welcome. Uh, really hope you've enjoyed the video, and as always, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.